20 flights, pretty much 24 hours. Go in a hotel, I mean, they have nothing really to do, so you get tired or not. Some of us try to sleep and then you come here and drive another 145 or something from the hotel to the... It was the most intense football trip for a away game I ever had. So and I, had no idea. I, had no, I had no idea how the players would do it. And then I was surprised how obviously they enjoyed the game. It was not, we didn't see us say a lot before the game. Eh? We only said um, two things. It would be cool if we could show one's character. And the other thing is that we love football. And I saw the boys show balls that looked really well and not about the opponent. It's not that I think the goals were really difficult to defend. <laughs> Honestly, they were brilliant. So, and then, yeah, the game was on its way. And I, I enjoyed it. And that's also important. <laughs> yeah. Given the difficulties in preparation that you had uh, and what Sydney FC you know, have been here for a long time, did you expect more from them? No, because that's very difficult situation. Right? And they, they have won a double. Yeah, they were uh, two weeks ago, pretty much. But one week off, then coming for the game. So it's good for Australian football and all that stuff. So we are, we'll have a better football team than Sydney FC. That should not be a surprise. If we wouldn't have, we would make a lot of mistakes. So no, we are not here because of this. We should we come here to show what uh, ourselves, the, the club, Liverpool FC. We are really thankful that Sydney FC gave us opportunity two weeks after the end of the season. So nobody should talk about them. They missed a lot of players, I think. Six, seven players were not involved with because they were already at home. So, Sydney FC, the second team, should be better than Liverpool. It's crazy. So, we need to win this game. Okay, it could have been more difficult, yes, in different situations, but I'm happy because it was not too hard. It was, we showed our fans that we, that we, are, that we um, are really thankful for their support. That's why we are here. So, if we could have done other things. We could have been already on holiday if you want. But we, we came here because we wanted to be together with the Liverpool supporters, and that's good. What response did you get from the players, your players, after the game? Um, after the game, it was much better than when I said we have, we have the game a few weeks ago. No, it was good. They, they, they enjoyed it now, of course. Yeah, yeah, you could see it. You, yeah, but that's, it was nice. We're in the game, concentrated, focused. And it's a, for us, if you want, in, 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 when you, for a few weeks when you watch back, you can say, really, that was so strange and so different to everything what we usually did, but still then we can perform. So, the normal circumstances we should perform also. So what was their response when you told them that they have a game in Australia? Because I'm the boss, they was not too critical, <laughs> but I could see in their eyes that, um, yeah, they would have done different things, so of course, but not drawing it. So. We are a professional football club, eh, so. What was it like coaching the old boys, Gerard, Mammon, and Tara? What, 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 what means coaching yeah, or managing? I had them in, in the plane. <laughs> they behaved really well. And, um, and then we had a five minute meeting, so they know all about football. And, and um, yeah, honestly, Is there anything it was can, not too bad, eh? Is there anything you can take out of this game that you can look forward to for next season, the start of pre season? Really, why should I? So the boy, there was no test for for any players to all good performance I knew before that they can be good. Um, it was not a really bad performance, but not everybody can shine. So that's how it is. But um, that's all good. The, the players in this scene they were not on, in a, and there were no tests or something. We knew that they are good. So perform if you can, and if not, I will stay out of the game. That's how it is. But um, and no, no, don't think that I will use a lot of this game. Any final ones, guys? Yes, Chamberlain? Uh, Jürgen, uh, this season your team did extremely well. A bit more tactical, from a tactical point of view, sort of struggled defensively in terms of area defending, defending the second balls, protecting the half spaces in transition after the counter press may fail. Are you looking to add defensive midfield specialists in your midfield for next season, or more of those two way box to box plays who are good at everything? You said in your know, answer already. So second balls after, if you want after after set pieces, another defensive midfielder will not really be around this situation. So that doesn't help a lot. Um, half spaces after when counter pressing doesn't work, another defensive midfield player. That's not about this. That's all about organisation. But we did already much better in the last few games. So that's how it is. Um, we've improved around set pieces a lot. Um, um, Simon did a wonderful job, uh, especially in the second part of the season with uh, with all the 
<coughs> yeah, the crosses he catched and all that stuff. So, I mean, the good thing has been our case. We know our mistakes. We know our, our weaknesses. So we will work on it 100%. But um, yeah, you can be sure. Everything, yeah, that's how it is. The season is done. We will. I have a little work to do, of course. Transfers and all that stuff, and then um, in the beginning of July we start with the preseason, and then we work on the things well, which were good, and um, we'll keep the things which were good, yeah, and try to play um, like we played in a few games. We a few games were outstanding, good. Well, if we could have done this more often, I think we could have had already a few points more, and uh, that would have been a bit different picture in the table. But for now, it's okay. But we have a lot to improve. Experience really. so many games he had in his uh, in his legs and it's great to be uh, a partner next to him and uh, uh, what was it like throughout this season playing next to Matip I mean you eventually got the top four spot are you looking forward to continuing that partnership next season yeah like I said you know you never know who will be the next new player you know in, in, in the squad but uh, it was uh, I would say we've done it quite well yeah. uh, it was quite tough we didn't play so many, many times because we had, uh, I would say, injuries. He had uh, also some injuries with his ankle. I was a couple of times also with my knee. So, yeah. and then again, you know, especially the last five games, we we done it quite well. Yeah, and there's rumors that Virgil van Dijk. I don't want to talk now. about that. Oh, no. come on. No, <laughs> no. Thank you. Well, I just want to ask you really quickly: How important is that counter-attacking distribution that you know you're quite good at? Um, one of the great young keepers in the world at being able to do that. Is that going to be really important going forward next season for Klopp's system? Yeah, it's a thing that we that we want to do, especially with our style of play. So. Yeah, it fits us good, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. And are you working on that with John Akkerberg regularly, trying to improve? Yeah. <laughs> Every day, perfect timing. <laughs> to Every improve day. that? Yeah, we try to improve everything. Yep. Um, so good things and the bad things. So, yeah, and nice to work from with From a competition point of view, are you hoping to be number one next year? Is that still...? Uh, yeah, that's my realistic target, I think. I started as number one last season, then a few factors didn't go well for me with the injury. then. Two, two bad games, but uh, I'm confident to, to step up again and be in goal. What's your, big, what's your biggest learning experience this year? Uh, everything, new club, everything's bigger, new players, uh, bigger stuff. So in general, it was just a new experience, uh, even though I had, uh, yeah, like I said before, not, not uh, the best, best of luck, but um, was was good to learn everything and um, ready to go again. Now. And, and final one for you before you go. Uh, just wondering the biggest difference between the Premier League and the German league. Uh, it's both good quality. Premier League um, maybe even a little bit better, but I have to say Germany also very good. Um, here everyone can can win really against anyone, but that's yeah, it's it's really the same. Both very good leagues. Premier League, of course, a bit more physical. That's the only difference. Really. Yeah, thank you so much. You had an excellent uh, run in the in the team last season, and hoping to develop from that it was obviously very difficult in a different system this year. What are you hoping to achieve next season with Liverpool? First of all, uh, it's not difficult. I think the system works very well. <laughs> And uh, for the what I want to achieve, of course, is to ke uh, keep uh, progressing. I think I, make st I made steps from last year, so now it's for me to make more steps and uh, feel that uh, my importance is growing in the team. So it's for me to manifest uh, and, and try to help my my, my team. And uh, yeah, we'll see. It will be exciting. And you played with Sturridge against West Ham, yeah. very deadly. Are you looking forward to playing with him in the future and play that two striker system? Yeah, of course, it's the manager who chooses the the how do you say it, the system. But uh, of course, I, I enjoy playing with top players, and uh, Daniel is certainly one of them. Yeah. Thank you. Good luck, Thank you.